Hey friends, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super easy DIY faux leather beret hat. Let's get started. For this beret, I am using a faux leather fabric that I have folded over 8 inches. And then I'm going to fold it up another 8 inches. And this will create 4 layers or a square. And I'm going to cut out that square and this will allow me to save some of my fabric and I won't waste any. Now that I have it cut out, I have that four layers cut into a square and I have all of the folded edges on the left side and at the bottom and the cut edges are on the right side and at the top and I am going to make a circle now so I'm taking my measuring tape and I am going to measure out six and a half inches and I am going to mark at the six and a half inch point from the bottom right hand side all the way to the top left hand side so I'm marking at the six and a half inch mark I am swinging and pivoting my measuring tape. I'm holding it in place with my left hand in that corner so that it doesn't move and it will be an even six and a half inches all the way around as I swing and pivot. And this will create a circle shape once it's all cut out. So I'm cutting along the lines that I marked with the marking chalk and now I have a circle. So I'm going to fold it in half into a half moon shape and I'm using that as a pattern to cut out a second piece. And these are the two pieces that I need to create my hat. With one of those pieces I need to have a hole for my head so I am going to take that one piece and I am going to fold it back into the four layers again and I am placing the folded edge back to the left hand corner of my table and I'm going to take my measuring tape and I am going to determine the size that I need for my opening now for my opening I measured my head and I took that measurement my head measurement divided by 6.28 and the, the number that I came up with is what I'm marking on my fabric so I'm using the measuring tape and I'm going to swing and pivot and do the same thing I did with the larger circle so it's my head measurement divided by 6.28 and that is the size hole that I need. So I'm marking it out, swing and pivot. We're gonna cut that shape out in a circular, in a circular shape the same way we did with the larger circle. And once I am done marking that out, I am going to take my scissors and I am going to cut along the chalk line this time instead of using the top portion with the full circle I am going to use the bottom portion with the hole cut out of the middle and this will go on top of my larger circle piece and I'm going to take those to the machine with the right sides together and I'm going to stitch around the edges using a half inch seam. And now I'm creating the band that goes around the bottom of the hat. This is a two inch wide by my head measurement piece. So it's two inches wide by however long your head is. 
Now that you have that strip cut out, you're going to fold it in half with the right sides together and stitch straight down that short edge. And once you have that stitched up, you're going to fold it again with the wrong sides together and the good side facing outward to make a thin strip that goes around the inside edge of the hat. And you're going to fold that in half and stitch it together. And now that you have it stitched together, you're going to snip along the edges of the circle all the way around the circle making sure not to clip into the seams so that when you turn the hat right side out it will lay flat and then you're going to attach that band to the hat facing the raw edges up you're going to stitch all the way around to attach it and once it's attached you are finished with that hat. All you need to do is turn it right side out and use your hands to press out those seams, smoothing it all the way around. And you are all set. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Share this video with everyone that you know. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye.